I'm definitely still pinching myself. There's a real blur between sleep and reality at the moment. Uh, literally dreams come true um, and waking up in the morning, an initial panic is like, did I dream that this is all still going on? And they're like, yeah, it's definitely, and I've got to get to the lake really quickly. Can't believe we're in Bristol. <laughs> I never could have imagined this when I was growing up. Oh, I can't wait to get out there. It's loads and loads of fun. <laughs> it's just working out the wave and learning how it works. Once I connected the dots, I got so many waves. Loved it. It matched my expectations. I was quite frothing, and when I was surfing it, I was frothing. So I think, I think that's. I wasn't disappointed, that's for sure. I've been working on this now for almost 10 years, so it's been a real mission to do this. I guess moments of real struggle have been finding the land, getting planning permission, then the massive task of raising the 25 million quid to build it. That was like two years of about 240 Dragon's Den sort of meetings. And I guess in terms of at those times when it's been a real struggle, it's people telling me that you can't do it. has probably been the thing that's inspired me the most to get on and do it. I'm a, I'm a stubborn git and uh, somebody telling me I can't do something is absolutely the best approach to get me to do it. Oh, I love it. It's so much better than I could have ever imagined. There's lots of different sections on the wave so you can practice different turns. So you can actually really like refine and get into detail on those particular manoeuvres. You're guaranteed perfect waves, like what more could you want? Being able to like power paddle back out and like try and catch the next, like another wave in the same set is just like continuous, it's just so good. <laughs> I just want to go back out again. So anybody else wanting to take on something, the project that feels too big, is just work at it, put every bit of your soul and passion into it. And don't have a plan B, because I think as soon as you start looking at a plan B, by default, your plan A is weakened. Just absolute single point of focus, just go for it, heart and soul, and surround yourself with brilliant people, and you can make anything happen.